Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to show you how to find the solution curves by drawing the slope field and this is a slightly more difficult problem here we have the dy dx equals x minus y again remember dy dx represents the slope of the function y and that's what we're looking for and the slope of the function y is equal to x minus y all right so how do we do that how do we draw the slope field well we do it one row at a time and so what we're going to do here is we're going to assume that y is equal to zero which means we're going to be on the x-axis and the slope of the curve, the possible solution curves, depends upon the value of x. So that means when x is equal to 0, uh, the slope will be 0. When x is equal to 1, the slope will be 1, and so forth, as long as y is equal to 0. So we're now on the x-axis, then we'll move up one, one row, then we'll assume y is equal to 1, and then we'll assume y is equal to 2, and so forth. So when x equals 0, slope is equal to 0, and again, so here we can say that y equals 0 on the x-axis, so that means over here the slope will be 0, here the slope will be 1 because the slope is equal to x, here the slope will be 2, here the slope will be 3, here the slope will be 4, over here the slope will be negative 1, the slope is negative 2, the slope is negative 3. So you can see how the slope changes along the x-axis. All right, now let y equals 1. That means I have to subtract 1 from the slope as I go across the line. So here the slope is 0, but here the slope would be negative 1 because 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So the slope here would be negative 1, here the slope would be 0, here the slope would be 1, the slope is 2, and the slope is 3. So you see how the slope changes here. Here the slope would be negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. All right. Okay, continuing, now we go to the line y equals 2. And now we subtract 2 from every value for x. So that means that here, even though the slope would be 1 if y is 0, uh, 1 when y is 0, when y is equal to 2, I have to subtract 2. That means it's negative 1 here, it's 0 here, it's... Let's see here. Let me... Nope. Uh, let's go back. I'm trying to go a little bit too quick and I'm making mistakes here, so I have to be careful. So it's x minus y if y is equal to 2. So here it's 1 minus 2 is minus 1, 2 minus 2 is 0, 3 minus 2 is 1, and that would be 2. And here would be minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, like that. Okay, now we go to the line y equals 3, and so now we have to select 3 from every value of x. So when x is 0, the slope is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. And of course, here it gets steeper and steeper and steeper. All right, now let's go down below the x-axis. So let's go to y equals negative 1. Since we're subtracting y, that's like adding 1 to it. So the slope is increased by 1. So if the slope is 0 there, here it's increased by 1. Here it's 2, 3, 4, 5. So here would be 0. Here would be negative 1 and negative 2. All right, how about the line y equals negative 2? So since it's minus and minus 2, it's like adding 2 to the slope. So here the slope is 1, so there now the slope would be 2. Here would be 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then on the left side would be minus 1, plus 2, that would be plus 1. Here would be 0, here would be nine, minus 1, minus 2, and so forth. So now you have a pretty good idea what the curves look like. So we have a slope field now. Now we're going to draw some possible solution curves to that. So you can see that a solution curve could be potentially something that looks like this. And then up like that. A solution curve here would look like this. And like that. And here the solution curve would look like this. And like that. A solution curve here would look like this. And like that. On the other side, the solution curve would look like this. Here would look like this. Here would look like this. And so now you can see that drawing a slope field, again, a differential equation, in this case, a first order differential equation, represents the slope of the function. And if we then find the slope at everywhere on the xy plane, we can then go ahead and draw what we call solution curves. And any of those curves are possible solutions to the differential equation. That's called 
the general solution. If we want a particular solution, then we need, of course, some initial conditions that will define which of those slopes or which of those uh, curves would actually represent the real solution under those particular conditions. So hopefully that gives you, again, a better understanding what differential equations are and how we can utilize the understanding of what they are to get a solution to the differential equation. And that's how it's done.